Hello, my name is Seolito Rodriguez and this is my presentation for MGT 570 Quality Design for Six Sigma for uh, California Intercontinental University. What is the purpose of this presentation? In this presentation I will briefly discuss uh, Lean Six Sigma methodologies, leadership for process improvement, a strategic planning, creating a customer focus, and the importance of process improvement teams. Six Sigma is a data-driven profit focus improvement methodology for business. Six Sigma attacks variation in a process or in all the processes in a company. Lean seeks to eliminate waste and non-value added activities. Uh, basically, organizations interested in increasing their customer satisfaction and overall organization success can use both the methodologies and their attendant tools and techniques to uh, study their processes and become more proactive when dealing with issues that prevent excellent performance. So basically, Lean Six Sigma means that a company wants to be excellent in performance. They want to improve quality and the overall customer satisfaction. The Lean Six Sigma methodology not only reduces process defects and waste, but also provides a framework for overall organizational culture change. A strong leadership is essential for Lean Six Sigma. Leaders of Lean Six Sigma organizations focus attention on cost, productivity, and quality improvements. They hold their workforce accountable for results. To be a, le le a leader of a Lean Six Sigma organization, an individual must be able to guide an organization by aligning the needs, wants, and expectations of the customer with the processes and day-to-day -day activities of its employees. A leader must be able to react to different situations with the appropriate leadership style in order to motivate employees. Effective leaders establish trust with their employees. They provide them with clear directions and guidance. They stay close to their employees, seeking information directly from those closest to the situation or the process. They concentrate on the essential, establishing priorities and monitoring progress. A leader must have and utilize an understanding of managing by fact with a knowledge of variation when making decisions. A leader must create a customer-focused culture that works to create value for customers each and every day in all activities. With good leadership, Positive changes can occur. Without leadership, nothing is possible. Effective leaders share key characteristics. They are optimistic, optimistic and kind, with a preference for personal contact. Although they display independent judgment, they are loyal team players, and this is very important backing up their employees if necessary. Leaders display a characteristic uh, calmness under stress. This trait enables them to face the bad news as squarely. They are decisive, able to combine a broad understanding of the whole picture and still see the detail. They 
should also define their jobs and the cultures of the organization that they work in. Lean Six Sigma organizations recognize that good leadership combined with a strategic planning and deployment maximize long-term organizational health. If good strategic planning is not practiced, a lot of bad things can happen. For example, goals are not known throughout the company, goals change too often, goals are not achieved, goals are achieved without real improvement, progress is not sustained, organizational frustration exists. Lean Six Sigma strategy plan or strategic plans emphasize creating value for customers and describe how the organization plans to close the gaps that affect the organization's ability to do so. So in other words, a strategic planning is a key component of a Lean Six Sigma organization. Uh, without a strategic planning, it is very difficult for uh, a, Lean Six Sigma a Lean Six Sigma organization to achieve their goals. Through the use of quality function deployment, Lean Six Sigma organizations take the customer information that they have gathered, translate it into organizational actions, and disseminate this information throughout the organization. How do Lean Six Sigma organizations capture the voice of the customer? Um, well, uh, the first thing is they ask them, um, is your organization hearing voices? Are you, uh, is the organization listening to the customer? Is the organization investigating how the customer feels? So, so the whole point over here is to listen to the customer and uh, understand exactly what the requirements are, what are the features that, we, that they want, what are the things that are not working in the product or, or service that your company uh, have, and again, um, listen to those concerns and then improve those things that the customers want improved. Lean Six Sigma organizations engage in a continuous cycle of learning and training. To support this cycle of continuous productivity, cost and quality improvement, Lean Six Sigma organizations design recognition and reward systems that motivate their employees to change. These rewards are aligned with customer needs wants and expectations as identified in the strategic plan and supported leadership actions. Okay, so we have come to the conclusion of this uh, brief introduction uh, about the concept of Lean Six Sigma organizations. What did we cover? Well, we discussed briefly Lean Six Sigma methodologies uh, we talked about uh, the importance of leadership for uh, process improvement. Uh, we also briefly discussed the importance of a strategic planning. We talked about um, how Lean Six Sigma organizations focus on basically uh, creating customer focus. They concentrate on uh, basically making everything around the customer. And we also uh, talked about the uh, process improvement teams and the importance of teams in order to uh, achieve these goals. Uh, thank you very much. I hope that uh, this uh, presentation uh, has been informative and that you have at least learned something or uh, that you feel motivated to learn more about Lean Six Sigma. Thank you.